Dr. James Thompson, Senior Lecturer in Psychology, uh, University College London, the Psychology Department. What I've been looking at is that the miners in Chile, what is the psychological situation they're in. At the present, what we can say about them is that after about 20 days uh, underneath a mountain which has collapsed on them, they're in pretty good shape. About five out of the 33 are in trouble at the moment with uh, depression and not wanting to participate. Our usual rule of thumb from research is that for civilians, about a third of people show prompt effects. So this number with the rather tougher self-selected minors of five out of 33 is pretty good going. Although the situation now is much better than it was when they didn't know whether they were going to be found, in a sense, now that they are, inverted commas, partly safe, they can allow themselves to be depressed and anxious and impatient and all the sorts of things which, in one's pure survival phase, are really something of a luxury. So their mood is lifted, but so is the variability of their mood. When there are setbacks, which there will be, then one can expect some co colossal drops in mood, which the group as a whole will have to manage. Now let's say things go on ahead. What we're then facing is them having to help a bit with the drilling in its final stages. That's good, it makes them useful. But then they will have to maintain absolute discipline as one by one they are winched up to safety. And that itself will have its own stresses. That's the one time when I as a psychologist would say perhaps a little bit of light medication might help a suitable quantity of local alcohols might make it easier to be dragged up through this tiny hole up into the space above.